Last month, one of Pittsburgh's best known chefs opened his latest restaurant. It's a Sicilian inspired eatery just up over the hill from the south side. The made over former bakery is offering a whole lot more than just square cut pizza and it's bringing new life to Mount Oliver's business district. Mikey Hood is with the team behind it all and we hear a new update could make this your new weekend hotspot. I'm so excited. The video looked great, Mikey. Yeah, that's right, Heather and David. I wish you guys had smell -o vision this morning because this place smells like a piece of heaven on earth. I'm at MOB Restaurant and Wine Shop. Um, it's on the hilltop of the south side, and I'm here with operator Kevin Sosa. Good morning. Good morning. And we are standing in front of this impressive oven here. Yeah, so this, this is uh, the original oven that was in the building when we inherited it. Uh, you can see from the lines, it's a... It's a work of art. It's from 1941. Um, this was a, an existing bakery when we came on board, and we just turned it into our own. Uh, we injected this beautiful kitchen with the help of um, RE360 and Joe Calloway, who are the owners. And, um, yeah. And you have this beautiful slice of pizza pie here that we're going to dive into a little bit later. So this oven, um, it was designed for pastries and cakes and such. Not so much pizza. Pizza usually requires, you know, thin crust pizza requires a really high temperature. Um, this only holds at about 450, which is perfect for Sicilian style thick crust pan pizza, which is what we've developed here. And it's a, it's a sourdough base. We uh, fermented for 48 hours and we're really proud of it. So it's, it's uh, pretty special. All right, Kevin, well, tell me a little bit about the restaurant because we have some video of um, the dining area and it is fantastic. Yeah, so when we discovered this um, space, Meg, my wife, and I um, walked in and we only saw potential. And so as we started to peel off the layers of former Pittsburgh uh, construction, the, the, the layers of wallpaper and cement and concrete, uh, we discovered that there was beauty on the walls that needed to be preserved. And so inspired by the remnants of the walls. We started to work with an architect and furniture designer and builder named Steve Buchero. And, you know, with his help, he set up his shop in the, in the space during the pandemic. And he built all of this amazing furniture and the built-ins that you saw downstairs for the wine shop. Um, so the wine shop is an integral piece of, of the puzzle as well. So, you know, it's, um, it's a part of the market that we felt was underserved in Pittsburgh. You know, a retail wine shop, they don't really exist here so much. And so my, my wife, Meg, is a um, wine professional sommelier, and she developed a really beautiful list of 200 bottles of minimal intervention, small production wines that pair really well with our Italian-inspired menu. Speaking of an Italian-inspired menu, we have Chef Jonah here. Chef, what are we looking at here? This looks delicious. Uh, this is one of our uh, vegan dishes that we um, serve here. This is a slow-roasted cauliflower with broccoli rob and breadcrumbs made out of our uh, McKee's Rocks Pizza. Uh, this is our take on uh, chicken parmesan. It's a sous vide uh, chicken breast, double breaded, with cacio pepe uh, sauce on the bottom. And then finally. Cacio pepe. Yes, yes. It's a nice, you know, parmesan peppery finish underneath. It's hidden. Uh, this is our uh, salmon crudo. It's Aura King salmon, uh, sustainably farmed in um, New Zealand. Uh, fried kale, fried black lentils, and salmon skin garnish. I love the coloring in this. It's beautiful. Yes, it's perfect for this time of year, I feel. Yeah, and a lot of this stuff is farm to table. Absolutely. Uh, we work with Ambrosia Microgreens and Who Cooks for You Farms locally. And then this pizza right here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, Kevin's baby right here. This is the McKee's Rocks Red. Um, it's uh, three different cheeses that we grind here. And uh, just look at the bubbles on that. I like, it's just a beautiful Sicilian slice. Um, it's so umami. It definitely gets you wanting to drink some more wine. And a new update you guys have. You'll be having brunch now. Yes. I, uh, brunch was something that sort of was affected by the pandemic. And I feel like it's, you know, something nice to bring back to um, the industry and our community. Um, so uh, we debuted that on Sunday last week. It's uh, from 11 to 3. Uh, we do basically the same thing that we're doing uh, with our regular menu, farm to table as much as possible. Um, our eggs are grown in the neighborhood. And, uh, you know, we just try to uh, create something accessible and friendly and, you know, experience you want to share. Chef Jonah, let's dig in. I've been dying to try this pizza. It looks so good. I'm going to say cheers to you now because my mouth will be stuffed in just a second. 
And, and Mike, I know you can still hear us. So go. just, we, we appreciate leftovers. We do. We like leftovers. We're fine. Mikey. If there are leftovers, that's the question. There, I don't know there will be. Mikey's shaking you her won't head now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Enjoy. So Enjoy, Mikey. That was awesome. <laughs>